dangerous. Be careful, he'll swap paint if he has to. First, I'm gonna take your ride, then I'm gonna take your girl. Get ready for that. Hey, what is going on guys? Elper Ripper 24 and here we have no other than Racer, Derek Hamilton, <laughs> Clarence Callahan or Clarence Racer Callahan from Need for Speed Most Wanted 2005. Without further ado, let me introduce you to the man behind the magic and the one we miss so much. My man, what's going on? Welcome to the show. <laughs> Thanks, man. It's really good to be here, Lino. Oh man. Razor PC. Yeah, yeah. And 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 <laughs> I, I can't believe we I got the privilege to to say that I'm sitting down here right now talking to you live um and recording this video for thousands and thousands of Need for Speed fans and your fans who have been asking to see you more and when they saw a glimpse of you on Instagram, they went crazy. They were like, He's there. He, he's still there, you know, like and, and when we saw the, the, the fan post that you made about Need for Speed, it just basically drove us crazy. I remember even seeing it myself and I was like, is that real? I hope nobody edited that. And as soon as I saw it was the real page, I was like, OK, I need to talk to him. I want to see. I want to see. I want to talk to you. And what a privilege. Actor, award winning. Uh, what? How many? What do you do with your full? If you were to tell me you're a writer, you're an actor, you're a business owner family man what else <laughs> what else is behind you you just keep busy man that's that's all you can do right if uh if you're healthy and you're able you got to keep going right you're a producer you gotta keep keep things happening oh my god that's exciting now before yeah. we talk a little bit more about you um me and and uh derek we have uh, come up with a plan that we want to make things a little interesting we want to make this video interesting and and don't worry in this video we're gonna talk about if if racer plans to return to need for speed so stick around because all the way to the end you'll be able to see some information about that so um don't worry i'm here sweating already but i want to uh we want to do together a giveaway uh we're gonna be giving away together a hard copy of need for speed heat when it releases with a personalized autographed okay with uh, the the signature of Racer Callahan on it on the hard copy of the video game copy. So, if you want to earn it, there will be a few instructions, and they're gonna be in the description of this video below. So don't worry. So the first thing you gotta do is follow the real Derek Hamilton. The link is also in the description of this video, and follow me also in Derek's Instagram. There will be a special post at the time of this video releasing where you'll be able to post a comment with the best racer line you can create yourself and then make sure you tag need for speed yes that's right let's go ahead and tag need for speed on this post every time you, you put, put the, the favorite line that you have the one that you want to create tag need for speed and also tag me on it when you post on on Derek's Instagram page when he creates the post for it so don't worry the link to that post will also be in the description of this video but guys and it doesn't have to it doesn't have to be a line by razor create your own line create your own line and if by chance razor does come back maybe i'll be able to pull one of these lines and it'll be in the video game oh cool oh now we're talking right? business be cool now we're talking let's, let's see what you guys got now let's see what you guys can give me now, for one of these lines there you go now we're talking business so that being said, now let's go into the interview. I have 10 questions I have selected and then I have also customized them in a way that they're easy to read and also easy for us to word them together throughout the interview. And also, uh, remember these questions, I picked them from um, from our Discord page, from the Need for Speed community page. So again, that's why they're so helpful for us to communicate as a community. But let's, it's time to start asking some questions and talk to, talk to Racer, right? Let's talk to uh, Derek. And let's find out uh, what he has to say about his career and how Need for Speed Most Wanted has changed the life of everyone and, and all the fans of Need for Speed and him himself as an actor. So the first question, you ready, Derek? Yeah, man. Let's go what ahead. Is it? So what was it like to play Racer 
for Need for Speed Most Wanted. And actually, C, uh, C West Kid helped me ask this question in a way, and I kind of rewarded it. So, what was it like to play Racer? Tell me. Wow. Well, um, I mean, it was it was an amazing experience, right? I mean, it, it was, you know, it was it was something just to get to play a, a villain in a in a in a video game and a villain that wasn't created, you know, not an established character that. You know, you do a character sometimes, and it's from a script or from a book, and it's a very established guy. Razor wasn't established. It was just a few words on a page, mm -hmm. a description, and go at it. So to get to go in from the ground up and build this guy, creatively, it was very rewarding, you know, and it was a ton of fun. Yeah. Um, yeah, it was, it was a blast. It was a blast. It, it, we saw it on the, I mean hearing it from you and watching the videos uh like the actual cutscenes from need for speed and the making of need for speed most wanted which is on youtube by the way oh, i've never seen it you've never seen it i'm, I'm don't no. worry i'm gonna send you the link <laughs> i'm sending it to you it, it's you'll have crazy memories from, from just playing that on youtube wow. i'm gonna send that to you i promise it was a 10 that was a 10 day shoot that video game oh my god 10 that day shoot very, yeah it was a very long shoot because it was it was very very intense because they were using new technology yeah. So there was a lot of, it was slow, but it was well worth it. I you made a lot of things. You told me that that's the first time that a technology was used in Need for Speed 2005. Mm -hmm. I mean, most wanted. What technology was it? It was called ICE. That was a technology created by Habib Zargapur, mm -hmm. who was the uh, art director and really uh, just, he's a creative force. Mm -hmm. You know, he's done feature films, he's done countless video games and... Um, ICE was um, a way of editing from within the game itself. Wow. So they could go into the game and change camera angles in the actual world. Into In the world they created, they could change those angles. Amazing. And also they shot us actors as actors on the green screen acting as you would in a film. We weren't wearing the mocap suits, which I've worn in other video games since. Yeah. We were, you know, we were... Uh, we were shot as actors and then we were, a wash was put over us to make us look like it was mocap oh so it was all it was all uh yeah a very new technology so you, and it was very freeing because you didn't have the big suits on that you're trying to do mocap in we got to act you know yeah you got to be yourself which is yeah, what we got in, in, yeah. in a lot of the footage you could, i know there's going to be some easter eggs that you're probably going to be dropping like uh, <laughs> some things that were not expected for, to, for you to say uh, yeah. uh, and, and I think that uh, we'll be mentioning that in probably around uh, question four about your impersonations and stuff like that. So, oh, yeah, 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 I'm excited about that. So second question here is, do you play Need for Speed and what is your favorite favorite Need for Speed game? If you have a, had a chance to play Need for Speed uh, after playing the role of, of Racer, have you had a chance to play? You know, I, I haven't. I played Need for Speed. I played The Most Wanted when it first came out because I got the game early. Mm -hmm. And uh, I sat around with a bunch of my friends and we laughed our bellies, you know, laughed our guts out and we played. And But yeah, no, I never really played it after that much. I'm not a big video game player. My kids, of course, love video games. So yeah. every now and then I get to go in and get access for a little bit. But uh do, do I they, worked, I, I'm, I'm out there too much grinding. I don't have time, you know. Do they I know that you're? Time. Do they know that you're in a video game? They do now. <laughs> That's a, you know what? Mission accomplished. Mission accomplished right there. All right. I, done, I did another couple of games. I also was a villain in uh, in in Dead Rising Four. Oh, Dead Rising Four. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So anyone that's played that, I was like the hillbilly guy that's crazy, axe wielding madman that you have to beat. I think in level eight or nine, one of the one of the bosses. So that's... that was all mocap, and you know it's my kind of face, but everything else is very, uh, very yeah. mocap. -ed. Definitely, definitely different than 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 what we were talking yeah. about most wanted. Yeah, and I was also the coach in FIFA 17. So, you know, it's funny. I've actually, uh, Razors showed up in another couple of games. They just haven't had them back in Need for Speed. Oh, man. We, we, we need to tag Need for Speed. All right. So help me out right now <laughs> and send this video to Need for Speed on Twitter or, or every single platform that you can. We need Razor back. All right. So number three here, how does it feel 
to be the villain of a franchise like Need for Speed, do you want to play a different? Would you would you have wanted to play a different role in Need for Speed? And actually, Demon Hog uh, asked this question. I kind of rewarded it again. But um, first of all, how does it feel to be the villain again and multiple times in multiple uh, projects that you have done? Yeah, yeah. I don't know why that is, <laughs> but yeah, I played a lot of villains. Okay. Um, is it the uh, tattoos? No, I, is it the, the? I don't know. I don't. Maybe it's the swagger. But uh, <laughs> ah, okay, okay, okay. I, I don't okay. know. Um, I played a lot of villains over my career, obviously. You know, I've done uh, sixty-five different television and film feature film appearances. So, you know, and most of those were bad guys. Um, and uh, I would say Razor is is right up there at the top. I mean, it was uh, again, it was a character that I got to really help create. Mm -hmm. I got to help create the dialogue. I helped, the, you know, I got to help mm -hmm. put in a lot of my myself into that role, and they 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 were open to that. And that's rare sometimes in film. You yeah. know, there's a lot of egos there, and people pulling in different directions and not wanting things to change. But uh, Razor was. Uh, yeah, he was he was a, a fun character to play, man. Fantastic. A... So, in if you were to go back in time now, would you have liked to play any other role, or you're happy that you play Razor? In that game? Yes. Oh no, that was Razor. That was it. That was it. That was the role. That was the role. So you don't who regret was I, a who thing. Who was I gonna be? Who was I gonna be? Mia. <laughs> I'm getting off of a cold, and I can't even laugh, or I'll start coughing all over the place right now. <laughs> By the way, we will talk about Mia in a minute. I want to ask you about her, yeah. because uh, I, I know she's had success, too, and she's uh, yeah. been very active on social media, and yeah. uh, again, amazing, amazing people. So, number yeah. four, can you do it? This is the fun part, so get ready. You might want to drink what water is? for this. What is it? Okay. So, number four, can you do a quick impersonation of the character, or maybe say a phrase, that will basically bring us back to 2005. Okay. Um, let me think if I can remember a phrase. So should I give a phrase that was written, or should I give one of the phrases that I brought? I wonder. Okay, so let's give some background on the phrases that were written and the ones that were brought. So yeah. why were some some phrases that were brought? How do you accomplish to to basically change the game up, going from out of the script and actually creating your own uh, idea of what you wanted to say? Well, like I said, it was a long shoot, and there were so many technical things that needed to be worked out in that game, mm -hmm. right? I mean, you're sitting on a on a apple box on an mm -hmm. apple crate, holding on to uh, you know a uh, uh, hula hoop, and that's your steering wheel, and this is your car. Wow. And now you see me sitting in this powerful Mustang, uh -huh. looking at, looking out the window, talking uh -huh. shit, right? <laughs> but I'm just sitting on an egg crate holding on to a, uh, a, a hula hoop. Right. So they're working on these shots that they want to get. And they know the motor's going to be shaking, the car is going to be vibrating. They're thinking of all of this stuff, but they're not thinking of any words. These aren't scenes in the, that they've written. So, you know, the director company said, maybe you would say something. Should you say something? And I said, yeah, yeah, man, I'll say something, you know? Uh, I'll just, you know, we'll just figure something out. And they said, action. And I said, you know, first I'm going to take your ride, then I'm going to take your car. You get ready for that. You know, that was it. I, and we I, just threw that out. I remember. You know? when you and, watched... me, and, and, and Mia came to get the pink slips. And I remember us having fun with that when she came over to get mine and me going like this. And not letting her grab it, you know, and then giving it to her. It's just, it was about having fun in that role. And everybody, every actor on that set and every camera operator, every person, the director, everybody had fun. That set became a family like that. Yeah. So it, everybody was free. Everyone felt free to create. I get, you know, and Derek, I get that from, from watching the, the, again, I'll share it with you, but the, the actual video of the making of the game, I saw that. I mean, I saw her talking and you talking and, and, and you being there and just doing your yeah. acting and the green screen, which is crazy. To imagine yourself in a, in a world that you can't see until you see it, you know, rendered, right? Yeah. Which is amazing. So, again, uh, do you have any other lines you can throw at me real quick? Maybe, uh, what I about remember. what about the, the thing we talked about earlier today where you were telling me about the punk-ass punk Oh, yeah, yeah. What was that? My 60, 
My 60 um, footer. My six. No, wait. Yeah, what is it? My 60 footer smokes anything here, including this punk ass kid car. Mm -hmm. But it's not a punk gas kid car, which some people I think thought it was, right? Yeah, and, and you know what? I I, I'll, I'll blame myself on that too. I yeah, think I fell for yeah. it too. Yeah, but I think either works. Either works. But Honestly. That's a punk but that's a punk ass kit card. Punk ass kit card. Uh, kit car. There you go. <laughs> oh my God. Uh, thank you for sharing those, man. Honestly, it's been so many years. I mean, 2005, we're looking at, uh, I don't know, 10, 10, 15 years? Wow. Since you yeah. made since you made the, the, the game, since you worked on the game? Yeah. Oh yeah. My God. Long time. Oh my God. That's that's a long time. And, and yeah. I know. And you, mm -hmm. you have kids? I have one. Yeah. How old? He is four years old. Yeah, you wait. Yeah, that's that's what makes time go. Oh man! Oh, Since I'm already, you have a kid, oh, I'm already feeling it, brother. I'm yeah. already feeling the time go super fast, and I have another it's on beautiful. the way. Beautiful! It's, it's beautiful. It's a great thing, but they they mark time. Oh, absolutely! Because we already, you know, we, we just gotta give it to them now. So yeah, man. That's right, brother. So <laughs> going on to question number five, how was and, and again, Mia Mia Townsend here? How was working with Mia Townsend? Josie Moran, who is the actress that played her role, uh, mm -hmm. Mia, how was it to work with her? How was she like? It was great. I mean, she is really nice, really, really nice girl. I think she was dating David Blaine at the time, the magician. Mm. I, think, I believe, yeah. So she was into magic. You know, and she was cool. She was really, really sweet girl. Um, it was her first acting role. So she and I, I don't know if she carried on acting and maybe she's more makeup and uh, yeah, she, she has some makeup personality. Company. Like I think she's mm -hmm. more of a personality. Yes. Yeah, but so, uh, yeah. first acting role, she was nervous, but, uh, you know, she pulled it out, man. She, she did it. Pulled it off. Yeah. I agree with you. Honestly, the part. OK, tell me about that last scene. We got to talk yeah. about that last scene where she takes you down and she arrests oh, you. And that was a made up line, too. When I say you and me. Uh, <laughs> Oh, that's awesome. Okay. That was a made-up line. Yeah, that was a made-up yeah. line, too? Yeah. In oh. the moment. That was an in-the-moment line. Oh, my yeah. God. So <laughs> she takes you down. She's an undercover cop, which is, you know, that caught me off guard when I was playing the game. I was just like, yeah, oh. right? You, it, she takes you down and she throws out the batch. The... Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, it's just crazy. It's crazy that you got a chance to work with so many uh, amazing personalities and, and actors in, in that set. Uh, and they, they all did a fantastic job. So, um, okay, so fantastic experiences there. Now, number six here, did you ever know you will be this popular in, in the fandom world, right? In the fan world of Need for Speed and even other movies that you have made, right? Which you told me about earlier today, to a point where some, you know, people praise you and people follow you in so many ways. How does it feel? Did you ever feel it was gonna get to this point where you're like, wow, I, I actually make, made an impact into this population? absolutely not no <laughs> absolutely not i had no idea no i mean you, you do things and you you show up and you do your work and you have fun doing it you feel blessed to be doing it and anything like this that happens after the fact is purely you know to the gods i mean it's who knows you know but I, I definitely feel blessed that, uh, that that people do appreciate the work and appreciate the characters and, you know? All right, so perfect. So question number seven, how did you get the role as Racer? How did this happen? Uh, audition, you know, it was an audition. My mm -hmm. agent called me, she said she had an audition for a game, Need for Speed, and uh, I had heard of the game and I was like, okay, cool. And I went in and uh, I was audition and two callbacks. And, you know, it was a lot of motion capture stuff, having swagger, walking around the room, being a, being a dick. Yeah. Being a bad guy, <laughs> you know? right? Being a bad guy. And, uh, yeah. So we did, you know, we did the li few lines that they had written, which were like the 60 footer car stuff, you know, and, uh, the, uh, uh, yeah can't remember but anyway you know the the few scripted lines mm -hmm. that they had and uh yeah that was it and so the first audition then they had a call back and then the third call back they had a couple of us together seeing how we kind of work together and as actors and yeah then booked the role got the call so whoever hired you uh made the right choice in my opinion oh <clears throat> thank you man thank you i appreciate that person that. needs uh, hopefully they got a promotion 
they changed i think they changed the history of need for speed by doing that honestly i feel wow. like um most wanted and the the rest of the need for speed history line would have never been the same you know without the the infamous racer character right uh Thank you, man. <clears throat> who everybody wants to see return because to this day we haven't seen one like you it hasn't been seen and it, it's tough it's tough to to beat that level of of passion and at the same time i feel like you know the nostalgia gets us right but mm -hmm. it, it's hard to find uh someone that can actually um you know match that level of you know passion and and i think that you know ab absorption of a character that you have to take in you know what i mean and and mm -hmm. you did that just right so Amazing, and I, I can't wait to see the comments already in the bottom of the video. Well, you know, you know, Razor's been locked up, right? So, you know, he's been locked up. He's been in the big house, man. Yeah, and, and talking about <laughs> now, uh, while Razor was locked up, right, being in jail, question number eight here asks, what did you do after the game was launched? What else did you do and uh, till today? You know, how is your life like now, uh, ha having done so many other projects? Uh, tell me about your, that history. Wow. Yeah, holy smokes, that's a lot of history. <laughs> that's like uh, 15 years, mm -hmm. I'll tell you that. I'll give you the short version. Um, yeah, so I mean, the game the game launched, and it was a success, mm -hmm. and it was a lot of fun. And uh, after that, I just, I just carried on with my career, you know. I've just acted in different shows, and I've always had a company. I've always had a masonry company, so I do... Uh, artistic natural stone. I'm a stone mason mm -hmm. by trade, as my as my uh, father was a was a concrete worker, and my grandfather a finished carpenter. So, you know, I've always worked in the trades, worked with my hands, and um, I've always acted, and uh, I've always written. So, you know, I've written several scripts and uh, uh, acted in several feature films. You can always check me out, Derek Hamilton, on IMDb. Mm -hmm. com. That's the internet movie database that'll show you all the stuff that I've been up to. Um, yeah, I did a film last year that I, I co-wrote and starred in, and it was called Rabbit. Okay. And uh, it's won several awards, and it'll be on all the uh, video on demand sites in the new year. So okay. you guys can all get to see that, where uh, where I play a, a bad guy but a good guy. So you know, I get to be sort of a broken hero. And it was a lot of fun, and it was again a. A film that I got to work with with my kids and my wife and they all had got to have parts in it and you know it was it was a lot of fun yeah I, uh, um, Derek I actually I saw the picture of them that you have on Instagram and you have an amazing family so oh, um, we are we are very uh, we're very proud of what you have done man I mean honestly oh. in the set off the set it looks like you are a hard-working man and uh, oh, we're, we're a hard-working dad too so Again, inspiration for us, the, 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 the other dads here trying to uh, work hard to get our goals accomplished. So, Well, hey, we're all the same, man. We're all brothers. And as long as we always all remember that, work together, you know, Absolutely. good things happen. Absolutely. That picture on the red carpet, yeah, that was a special night. That was one of the awards shows with my, my family for the movie Rabbit. And yeah, that was a very special night. Amazing. Yeah. Amazing. Oh, you're actually working on another movie now. That, uh, I am, yeah, yeah. I'm working on a film actually with Habib Zargapur from the from uh, Need for Speed. So we came full circle. He's uh, doing the feature film now, and he's using his uh, VFX genius to uh, to create this really special World War II fighter pilot movie. I play a fighter pilot in it. It's sort of a uh, uh, you know, it's an underdog type uh, story. You know the the small guy does good type movie and uh yeah it's about these big souped up fighter planes mm. in the war and these pilots that are having to do all these special modifications to these planes and uh as you know he makes things look pretty badass so hey, they're hey. Uh, they're not your average war plane right. you know i think this it'll be special that's a great setting for you i yeah, think it's a, yeah, it's a great a place to put derek derek hamilton Let's yep. put them the in the middle of a war. The, mo the movie's called Squadron, so you guys can look for that probably over the next year and a year and a half to two years. And uh, you can also check out at Habib Zargapur, and you can uh, see where he's going with that on his page. Well, do good, sir. Now, um, question number nine: Are you into cars? And what's your favorite car? We saw you drive a Lambo, so. Oh yeah, man! Who doesn't like cars? 
<laughs> I mean, I like trucks too. I actually have a, uh, I have a 2018 Dodge Ram mm -hmm. nighted out, all blacked out. That's that's kind of my daily ride. Right. But uh, yeah, no, I like I like cars. My first car was an old, uh, uh, what was it? it? Was an AE86 Toyota, an old Corolla, mm -hmm. back in, like 1986. That was my uh, my high school car. And, yeah, I've had a few cool ones over the years. I've had a 66 Chevy 2 Nova, and I've had a 71 uh, uh, Monte Carlo, and I've had an 84 Grand National. I mean, I love I love cars, I mean, you know? Yeah, yeah. I saw that. Yeah. I'm, I'm asking that question because we saw that, that fan uh, clip that you gave us with the Lamborghini. A Lambo, my friend. That's my friend's car. Oh, okay. Said, hey, let me take that for a rip. Oh, man, when I saw that, I was like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Whose idea was it? Was it yours or your friend's idea? No, that was me. You know, I was I was in it, and I said, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna do something for the Need for Speed community, and let, come on up here. I'm gonna be Razor right now. Oh man! I'm gonna give you a Razor nod and take off. And you know what? Yeah. That takes us to the final question, the Razor question, right? I mean, mm -hmm. uh, transitioning to question number ten. If you had, <laughs> if you had the chance. Would you return to Need for Speed if you had the opportunity? And I think everyone here wants to know if you had the chance. If Need for Speed said, "Hey, we need Racer back," how would you feel? Yeah, I mean, of course, you know. Yeah, of course I would. Right? I mean, why not? I mean, maybe it could be Razor comes back and he's turned over a new leaf. Mm -hmm. You know, maybe he's uh, he's a guy that wants to help people and wants to, uh, you know, be a team player. Right? Nah. Uh, no? Okay. <laughs> nah. Come on. If I come back, I'm taking all your cars. Uh. Everybody. Every single one. That's what's happening if I come back. Oh, my <laughs> God. Every one. Yeah, I'll come back. That yeah, that gave me chills. <laughs> I got chills right now, people. Y'all tell me. <laughs> hey, at Need for Speed, let them know. Come to me. Come to the real Derek Hamilton. Instagram, like my page. Give me a line that you think Razor should say in the next Need for Speed. I'm gonna pick the best one, and they're gonna get a signed copy of the new Need for Speed Heat. Right. Ooh, we got Boom. some. We got some work to do. You know, y'all. I'm, I'm gonna put one too. I'm Good. gonna put. You do it too. I man. want a copy too, y'all. So you do it too. <laughs> you know, I, I'm gonna try to come up with something. So you know, before we end the interview, um, I, I mean, I could talk to you for hours, but what do you have any special special messages for your Need for Speed community, the Need for Speed fans, um, that you would like to leave them with before we end the, the interview? Um, I, I just want everyone to know I really do appreciate I appreciate all of the uh, all the love that everyone's given me on Instagram and all the comments I really appreciate it and it's a great community and the whole racing community the car community it's a great community and all of you guys are part of it and being part of such a special brotherhood and sisterhood of, of people that's what life's about man you guys got it so right on and keep on doing it. Man. That's all. Uh, we need him back. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> we need him back, Need for Speed. Please do not, do not let this decade go away or the next decade go away without giving Racer another round to, you know, uh, make us uh, sweat a little bit for our, for our progression and the cars that we want to get. You know what I mean? Um, <laughs> It's been exciting. Again, it's a privilege, uh, Derek, to be able to uh, have had this interview with you and, and talk with you about um, all the amazing things that you have done and things that you're planning on doing in the future. And I hope that we can all uh, basically get, get the main idea, which is the fact that, you know, uh, big things start with just sometimes small ideas. And, and, and being yourself, right? Uh, I, think this is the, I think out of the entire interview, that's, I got this main message that be yourself. You know, uh, everybody, everybody, hundred percent. Be yourself. Be you know, guitar. they told they told Derek, "Hey, here's the line," and Derek said, "I got a better line." And look, <laughs> he changed the culture. He changed. He literally changed the world in a way. 
because uh, we all live by it. Um, not just uh, the newcomers to the franchise, also the old school fans like me, you know, in our 30s, in our 40s, who are saying, <laughs> that's the guy, that's the guy, you know what I mean? And uh, super excited. So again, thank you so much, guys, for watching this whole interview, this full feature. It's been a privilege for me to do this and, and, and work together uh, with Derek. Derek, um, man, I cannot wait to see what you do next. And, uh, Thank you. And uh, everyone together with me, the, the the newcomers to the channel and, and all of our current follow followers, please do me a favor. And besides the giveaway, let's go ahead and go to, to Derek's uh, page. Let's follow him. The link is below. And don't forget that you have a chance of winning a Need for Speed copy um, with this special signature uh, provided by him. Again, it's, it's, a, it's a privilege. And um, I'll leave you guys with that. And, well, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Derek, been an honor, brother. I'll be seeing you, you soon. Too, man. Hey, and by the I way, I, I, I got I got your car. So. Oh, yeah. yeah. I got your car right here. I'm coming for that. You're coming man. for that car, huh? Yeah? Okay, okay. All right, all right. Well, thank you so much for watching, guys. This is Elper Ripper 24 and I'm out. All right. So, Derek, you have a, you have a, a yep. beautiful family. Uh, you got I two do. sons, right? I do. And, that, and, and also, that's and, one of and, the other things that I did after the whole Need for Speed thing was that Razor got busy, ended up having a couple of boys, and they're good-looking guys. So I want to introduce you to my sons. This is Knox, and this is Cash. And Whoa. we want to say, okay. have a good one. Hey. Anything to say? Uh, yeah. I, you, you. That's right. Hi. How are you doing, guys? <laughs> You guys are awesome, and you know you have an amazing dad, and 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 trust me, you guys are gonna be just as awesome, if not even better than him, because you guys are you guys look ready great, by the way. You guys ready for kids. Halloween? No, this is how they were born. These are my sons. <laughs> okay, okay, you guys are awesome. <laughs>